Hey everyone, my name is Ian, also known as not Ian Sands from Learn How to Edit Stuff, and today we are going to be making this cinematic title sequence inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm gonna show you how to design and animate with essential graphics, optimize that design, and then save it out as a template for you to use later. Also, make sure you download the project file and the essential graphics preset from the video description below if you wanna follow along. All right, open up Adobe Premiere Pro because we are getting started. All right, if you downloaded the project file, you will see a few sequences across the top of your timeline, which are broken up into each stage of the design and animation process with instructions and images. But for this tutorial, we're gonna do it all from scratch. My composition settings are 1920 by 1080 at 23,976 frames per second. Okay, first click on the graphics tab at the top of Premiere, which will open up the graphics workspace. Then click on the type tool, click into your program monitor and type a capital I. You'll now see a bunch of information on the right-hand side of your screen, like your text layer, transform controls, font options, colors, strokes, and more. You can customize your text however you'd like, but for this one, we're gonna keep it nice and simple. After I type any text layer, I always make sure to center the anchor point in the text layer by holding down control, then clicking and dragging the anchor point to the center of the layer. Centering your anchor point will guarantee the text layer scales and rotates from the center, which is always helpful with design and animation and generally a good habit to start. If your anchor point isn't centered, the text will scale or rotate from a weird point and potentially cause problems in the animation stage. Now I'll add some new text, lower the font size, and click these buttons right here to center it in my composition. Then move things around a little bit until you get to a place where you like your design. All right, the layout of this is looking pretty good to me, so now it's time to animate. Under your Effect Controls tab, tool down your line layer and uncheck the box that says Uniform Scale and set a keyframe for the vertical scale only. Then move 10 frames to the right by holding down shift and clicking the right arrow twice. Holding shift plus the arrow key will move you five frames at a time, while only using the arrow key by itself will move one frame at a time. Nice little time-saving tip for you there. Now set another keyframe, then click this little arrow next to the keyframe indicator to go back to the beginning and set the value to zero. Now your line is animating vertically. Since this animation looks a bit robotic, right click on the last keyframe and choose ease in, which will smooth out your animation curve automatically. Now, with your text layer selected, create a mask. Set the feather value to zero and place it right against the line so that your text is inside the box. Set a position keyframe for your text layer, then go over 20 keyframes, shift plus right arrow four times, and pull your text over to the right, and now it looks like it's animating out of the line. The animation definitely needs some smoothing, and one of my favorite ways to smooth animation is expanding the layer on the timeline, right-clicking on the effects button, then navigating to the animated property on your layer and using the bezier handles to smooth out the animation curve. I want my text to come out fast, then slow down towards the end, so this is the curve that I'm gonna want. Now I'll reverse the animation by copying and pasting the keyframes in reverse order. Smooth out the exit animation a bit, and now you have yourself a clean title sequence that you can use for your videos. Once you are 100% happy with your animation, come over to the Effect Controls tab and drag this little blue square over your animations at the beginning and at the end. This will create a protected region around your animations, allowing you to lengthen or shorten your animation to fit your project needs. This is what Adobe calls responsive design, and it is a huge time saver. You don't need to copy and paste keyframes and keep moving things around and shuffling. You can literally just drag your layer and it will just conform to your project, which is super awesome. The last thing that we're going to do is save the design as an essential graphics preset. All you're gonna do is right click on your text layer and choose export as motion graphics template, choose where you wanna save it, check all the compatibility boxes because it's always good to know if there might be a problem, then add some custom keywords by typing them and hitting enter to save, and now click okay and you are done. You are now able to search for your design, pull it into any composition, edit the properties, and customize it for different projects, or send it to your friends for them to use in their projects as well. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you create a cool, customizable, and reusable animated title sequence in Adobe Premiere Pro. Nice job. Well, I do wanna say thank you so much for watching this video and definitely give it a thumbs up if you learned something valuable. Also, while you're at it, subscribe to this channel so you can learn from more amazing creators. And if you liked learning from me, you can find me on YouTube at Learn How to Edit Stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next one.